Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time clicking my link. I know you did think I was going to hit no high note. And if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for the continuing to rock with your girl because you already know how I feel about my subscribers. Thank you. What's popping? So, you guys, we are in D.C. live in Washington, D.C., Maryland. I am going to be detangling my hair today for you guys. You know? I have a puppy. His name is Moses. Here he is. He is seven months. He's a pit bull. And um, yeah, we're about to detangle my hair. I have 4C natural hair. I've been natural for nine years. Haven't had a perm since 2010. Um, just to give you my story as to why I went natural really quick, really quick, really quick. I was in college. I got a perm from my bookstore at my college, Bloomfield College, got a perm. And my hair fell out like Tina Turner's hair did in that scene in the movie when it was coming out in clumps. Ah! Yes, that was my hair coming out in clumps. So I learned my lesson the hard way. Never, ever, 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 ever use a perm from the hair store again. But my hair is completely a rat's nest right now. It's done up. So before I get my braids, I don't um, blow dry my hair, but I definitely like to straight out detangle it. So in this bottle, it's just some just bottled water, not tap water, but bottled water. Oh, it's turned off. And I'm going to always wet my hair. So the method that I follow for my natural hair since I have 4C hair is the LOC method. I've been following this method for over a year. It has been completely successful for me. This is always how I base my hair before I get my braids done. And I always braid my own hair. So, yeah. Um, I always just spray a little bit of water. I don't saturate it. Just a little bit of water to stretch my hair and make it more manageable. And then to detangle my hair, I always like to just detangle it with conditioner. I just left Trader Joe's. I'm kind of irritated with myself that I didn't buy more conditioner. But I have some more at home. So, hopefully this is enough. For the video i usually use a lot more but i'm going to be a little sparing with it just because i'm in dc and i don't want to run out and i just pour a little bit and it wasn't that much like a little bit like a quarter size just enough to once again saturate the hair but not over saturate okay so as you can hear my hair is moisturized and i'm going to just split this in two I have a detangling comb and I'm just going to twist my hair like this and just tick at the ends one two three four and then for the rest I'm going to finger detangle um, I've been fingering detangling my hair for over a year now and it's many reasons why I finger detangle I started finger detangling after watching Natural because I love her hair and I've always desired to have really big afro hair and I just never understood why my hair was never like retaining length because your hair can grow but can you retain your length that you just grew that's the question baby girl can you retain your length your hair is growing but are you retaining so after I finger detangle I go through with the comb now that it's fully detangled and you see I have no hair on here. Okay. And um, I'm going to just two strand twist. And I'm going to do this to my whole head. Now I had my hair in a ponytail. And anyone who has 4C hair knows you got to part your ponytail into three parts. Um, for ponytails, I always do the middle. I pull it back first. I pull back the top. Then I bring up the bottom for my ponytails. And if you want to see me do a ponytail video for my 4C hair, definitely comment below. But there's a lot of videos on YouTube. But if you want to see me do it, let me know. Um, but <laughs> this is how I'm going to be detangling my hair. So, same thing. Twist, twist, twist. Now, my hair is like six different textures throughout. And the bottom and the top are the softest parts of so my bottom row, this area I'm in now. And then my top is the softest. But this middle right here, that is my ancestral plane, okay? That is where Wakanda starts. That is where it gets real. So um, I'm definitely going to fast forward through that part because it takes a while to detangle my middle. 
Um, but yeah, as you see, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave this conditioner in for about 30 minutes and then rinse it out. What do you mean? You remind me of a sucker, Miss Lil Say, uh, you remind me of someone to stay. All right, you guys, so that is how, ooh, 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 ooh. that is how I detangle my hair. As you see, my top is way more manageable. Like, I don't even need the comb. If you guys want to see my battle scar, and I'll insert some pictures of if I can find some old ball spot pictures. But, bro, that, that shit wasn't no joke, okay? All this hair I basically have in the center of my head is new hair. From, from this point and like this point, this is all new hair. <sighs> all fresh ass, thin ass hair. It's crazy. Never get a perm, especially from your bookstore. Perm, I mean, relaxers are good. I'm not gonna say that you can't have healthy, relaxed hair, but that shit, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. So I'm gonna leave my knots in for a few, like like maybe two hours. I'm gonna go to the pet store. I know I ain't gonna rinse it out right now, now, but I ain't gonna leave it in. Sometimes I leave it in for days, but just like two hours, I'm gonna leave this in my hair. And that is it, you guys. So that is how I detangle. Let me, can I can I stop being like that one? Rinse off my hands. That is how I detangle my 4C hair. Um, I always use conditioner and water and finger detangle the majority of my hair. And then leave it in these Bantu knots for a little bit. And I'm gonna rinse it out in the shower and just go straight into washing it. And for my wash, I only wash one time with shampoo and then I throw conditioner through it one more time. And I use this uh, Trader Joe's shampoo. You can't see it, but this one is really good. It has tea tree oil in it. It gives you a little tingling feeling when you use it. I love it. And this conditioner has a uh, tea tree oil in it too. So they're both sulfate free. I think they're sulfate free. Oh, actually these aren't sulfate free. I think they have sulfates in them. Oh my goodness. Let me see. No, it's not so big in it. Okay. <laughs> great. All right. Have a great day, you guys.